Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video we're going to be addressing some age-old drama, that is the classic community versus streamers debate, where, you know, the streamers want something from the game Destiny 2, and the community wants something else, and there's this sort of clash of the titans. Figuratively, of course, because we're not all titan mains, unfortunately. And before we dive into it, I will say this, I think that our commonalities, you know, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, I think that our commonalities far outweigh our differences, you know, if you're out there, you're just a player, you don't have, you know, essentially a, a big voice on social media, etc. I do think that we have a lot more in common than we have not in common. And we might disagree on certain points, but ultimately we both just want what's best for the game. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. We've got a Reddit user saying, Bungie, please don't listen to the streamers for the next raid. That's a spicy title. So here we go. Giving us 10 days to prepare and putting it on a weekend was probably one of the best decisions in terms of a day one raid experience. That's true. Agreed by myself and by the majority of streamers, you know? And th that's the funny part about this is that this sort of opinion is being put on all the streamers or maybe even a certain streamer, but the reality is that I don't think there's any streamer that actually has an opinion against this. Like, like giving us 10 days to prepare for the raid was an excellent choice, and I I'm very happy for that. I want there to be tons and tons of people ready to go at the helm, super excited, going to try to get that 24-hour emblem. Without diving into it too much, my issue was never uh, an issue of you know, the 10 days to prepare, but let's move forward. For once, I was able to participate due to it not being on a weekday, which is something they actually did last time. They actually did it on a Saturday as well, so this isn't the first time they do this, so this was your first time able to participate, but you, I guess, technically could have participated last time. Uh, even though I wasn't able to beat the raid on day one, I was still able to experience it and have fun with it. It seems that a lot more people were able to have fun with it as well since DSC has the most day one clears of any raid. Please consider doing this more often. So that was the spicy take. And in fact, uh, Bungie dev Cosmo actually replied to this saying, uh, don't worry, we aren't going to make major decisions based solely on a few voices. Everyone is welcome to give their feedback and critiques and we do take everyone's input in no matter if you're a big time streamer or just making a post on Reddit, Bnet or the social platform of your choice. The team is going to decide what they think is the best for the game based on a mix of feedback data and their own expertise. And he actually gives some uh, feedback here from his position, which is really interesting that he's actually going into to dive this deep into it. Uh, as community manager, he says, from my personal community manager chair, here's the feedback I have been seeing from the raid overall. Amazing encounters with incredible art and music. Agreed. Contest mode is great. Please find more ways to use it. Absolutely. I've made this point many times. Uh, longer prep time and weekend raid day is preferred. 1,000%. Every day, every, it should always be on a Saturday like it was. I love it. 24-hour uh, clear seemed more accessible because of new builds, but still challenging and a desired achievement. Uh, I'll, I'll, give a, I'll give a little eh to that one. Uh, great story and lore. Some players would prefer a different boss other than Tanix. And final chest vendor is a hit. I love the final chest. And I agree I would prefer a boss other than Tanix. Those are just the hot takes I've noticed. And let me know if you disagree with any of them or have more that you want us to pass on to the team. So there you have it. That was the entirety of the issue. But I want to give you my opinion now. I think that this like whole streamer versus community debate is is like a really age old debate. And it's a very frustrating one because we're all on the same team. And the unfortunate part about it is whenever people in the community often have a difference of opinion from a streamer, they sort of like alienate them as like, oh, well, you just want it because you're a streamer and you're you want to make content and you want the game to be this way so you can get more views or more money or more this, more that, and you're you're doing it for your own greed. And that's like the d default go-to thing on Reddit, everywhere I read when it comes to, you know, giving criticism to streamers and whenever someone has a difference of opinion from a streamer. And it's super frustrating because as myself as a streamer and the majority of content creators I see, most of us just want the game to be in a better place and we all push for similar things. Sometimes we have a difference of opinion, but even in this case, it's so weird because no one has this opinion where they don't want the raid to be a 10 day prep time leading up to the raid. Like no one wants it to be like uh, any less than that. It's totally not the issue at all for me. Like in my opinion, if I were to give my feedback on this of what I would like from the raid, my feedback was that it was just too easy. Like the raid was too easy and you can even do the raid right now. It's very, very easy to one phase all the encounters. Even doing the raid in the first 24 hours in the contest modifier, I was running around with double slug shotguns to do optimal damage to the boss. I had no problem clearing ads, like, why are the ads so fluffy that I can run around with two slug shotguns and just punch all the ads to death? Like, that just didn't feel like the, the difficulty level that I was expecting from, you know, this incredible difficult activity, beating the raid in the first 24 hours, you know, as someone that likes doing, like, for example, you know, the Grandmaster Nightfalls. Those are brutal! Have you ever fought a red bar ad in a Grandmaster Nightfall? Like, one drag will walk up to you and just slash you and you're done! Like, how is it that a Grandmaster Nightfall 
has more difficult adds than the raid with the most difficult modifier on, the contest modifier. Technically speaking, I know that the Grandmaster brings you down 25 power and that the contest modifier brings you down 20, but it, it still shouldn't feel like that. And that was truly my biggest complaint and what I said when I thought that the raid was too easy. And I still think that, and I still feel that. Like, I go into the raid now and it's just like, it's just such a breeze. The ads are just no issue. Like, have you done the encounter just before Tanix? Like, that encounter is, like, way too easy. Like, you have, if you have a couple Warlocks putting down healing rifts or wells at any point in time, like, it's so easy to just clear those ads constantly. And the champions are meant to be difficult, and you're meant to actually stun the champions properly, but you don't even have to because we have weapons in the game that are just so strong that you don't even have, you can bypass the champion mechanic and that's just like, that's just not the way it's designed to be. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the new raid? Do you think it's too easy? Do you agree with the community manager Cosmos feedback here? I agree with the majority of it. Let me know if you have a difference of thought or opinion in the comment section below. I'll be reading the comments. And make sure to subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you in the next video. Later.